revolt. I say that because we have to revolt against the revolting, criminally insane King George, Queen Hoover, masturbating, genocide practicing, cor rotted, corrupt, what we have. That, that's the true fact. And I uh, improved my mini studio and I said, I wonder how the lighting, and it's brighter, I wonder how the lighting and acoustics and the screen backdrop uh, is. And I says, why not make a, a video? Well, you look kind of rugged. Uh, well, this is who I really am. I uh, will mention chronologically important facts. Uh, I made four years high school in three. A's in physics and math. I consider myself the or one of the best students with a future. And what what could I do? Well, I have to say I was a super patriot. And I said, Abraham Lincoln made it. A little log cabin, kind of self-educated. And uh, uh, he would say, they say, Abe, you got quite a repertoire of humor. He says, all I have to do is think about myself, and I've got plenty of material uh, to um, vociferate, to express my personality and ideas and so forth. So, they say, well, I have... I have maybe seen not all but most of it and survived so far most of brutal, gruesome crimes. It's probably the worst in U.S. history. And especially if then you include the monetary value, which is in the billions. So, they completely reversed it, where instead of me being known and honored and wealthy and a lead, the leader or a leader, they want to have the King George, Queen Hoover, not democracy, hypocrisy of where they are the ruling clique. And then... George Bush Sr. said it himself, he says, well, we're connected with royalty, we should govern, we should be like royal and govern here in the U.S. Uh, well, by hook or crook, they got control and have for decades until now. They don't have to worry about anything they figure. They run around out in the open saying, yeah, we can kill, murder you, or do whatever we want, keep you anonymous, you, you, that, and you can't do anything about it. That's the situation in the U.S. We have an illegal president. He was not born in the United States. So you can imagine what that fellow would do to where he get where he is and we connect the, the deals. Our system has rotted. It is corrupted from the top, from the top down and corrupted. They all get in a circle and decide who in the competition they want to eliminate. 
They practice genocide, murder, assassinations. You think about it, the Kennedy, JFK, himself, who was behind that? Well, Jagger Hoover was the most secret power. And then Lyndon Johnson took over down there in Texas. He, isn't that a true fact? I, I don't write these facts. I just, I have four programs, and that's what I'm going to present now in chronological order. My main one, going way back to 1972, certainly by 1975, is Universal Pure Christians. I wanted to be a, I says, look, I've done everything possible patriotically in various disciplines. I've achieved the, in my opinion, uh, kind of omega step level in the discipline of science, particularly physics and most precisely advanced concepts in theoretical mathematical physics. Absolute true fact. But the robbery, force robbery of my work and the plagiarism, the phoniness. I'm telling you the truth. It's been proven Einstein is a plagiarist. He robbed Olinto de Pretos E equals M V squared. They say, oh, he no, he thought of E equals M C squared. They just uh, don't really know. He, he wrote what the pre, uh, Olinto de Preto wrote, E equals M V squared, V the velocity of light. Now they say E equals M C squared. They say, oh, Einstein, he, yeah, he put forward E equals M C squared. No, he wrote E equals M V squared. Copying de Preto, who showed him his work and explained it to him. Absolute true fact. They knew each other. His cousin helped Einstein get a job in the Swiss patent office. They showed absolute true facts. Fast forwarding is this fellow in the wheelchair. He is a made scientist. Of course I knew that because they would steal my work and then he would they go by my office and come by my office again after a few days after they were sure they got string theory I worked out string theory and was getting ready sort of to present it at least where I could copyright it in my papers and they go with a book and to make the fellow famous and the truth is, the insiders now say that's all phony, all rigged. They figure out what to do, what to say, and then they rehearse it, and then they have an American imitate his voice like that's him. That's what the insiders say. Well, of course, I knew it was uh, rigged. I didn't even know it was rigged that bad, but I knew it was rigged, of course. The English are notorious for phony deals, like the Loch Ness Monster. I saw it twice, it had it twice on one night, that it was a, a, a guy who worked at a hotel, built it to, to, to send it over to the hotel of a friend of his on the lake, and he did it as a prank. And then and it came real good, you know, look looks like it, you know, a monster, you know, a sea serpent. And and there you spending all this money looking for that lock and this money to get people flying there in hotels and build a resort. It's all trumped for money. That's the English are notorious for doing that. I think they had one fellow wrote books, became famous with a pig's tooth. And that was exposed. There is an exposés on the internet 
powerful proof of what I say. Absolutely. As the expose editor, I review what's there from my experience, and I put forth the true facts. Now I improved my mini studio, and I said, well, I'm on a quantity push to become at least recognized because by the Constitution, they must, this government, USA, must give me justice, honors, and financial compensation. That's by the Constitution Bill of Rights, you see. So who really am I? Well, I came with preacher doc. I would defend especially young ladies who they would attack and brutally hammer until the girls would cry and get off the internet and then they'd laugh and say, see, we got another one off the internet. They say they believe in their faith. Why you, we can get them off the internet. So I would get them to switch to do hit me. Oh, then I would hit them twice as hard. And when I get through hitting them twice as hard, they got lawyers and were complaining and with their lawyers and so forth. They and, and um, financial backers actually got me off the internet. Can you imagine that? They said I was a preacher. I'm preaching. You can't do that on the internet. I said, I'm not a preacher. I'm preaching true facts. I'm defending my faith and those who believe in it. You see, so I thought about it. Well, I'll become a priest. And I talked to the Bishop of Buenos Aires, who's now the Pope. And I said, I want to become a priest and he said, well, that's up to Rome. And he said, no, Rome says you married, you can't be. And I says, well, I look at it this way. St. Peter was married. And on that rock, Christ built this church, the cathedral, the basilica, the cathedral, St. Peter's. He was married. Some of your early founding Fathers of the, of the Catholic religion were married. No, no, he spoke. So I wonder. No, they won't. They won't. They're just stuck in what they did. And I said, no, I think I have the right to preach. St. Paul had a vision and became the most of building the Catholic Church, uh, Christianity, if anybody. He didn't go to any seminary school, and didn't go to any college door. He just preached. So now, I said, I, if, if God or Christ tells me I can't preach, I won't preach. Otherwise, I'm preacher doc. So I have preacher doc of the universal pure Christians. Why universal? I'm a scientist. I have defined space, I think, better than anybody. I hold to it. And in this universe, you can be anywhere in the universe and you can obtain salvation if you believe in the divinity of God and Christ. That's my opinion. You have your own religion and they say their leaders uh, did miracles or have a certain code. Great. What about that man in the jungle uh, somewhere? He never heard of any Christian. What happens when he, about his eternal life? I think God takes everything into account. Was he a good man? Yeah, I think then he's, he makes it in, in paradise. He, he's a good man, you see. Now, so I have universal pure Christians. Preacher Doc. And I present one divine miracle proof every God's day, which is, we, we say Sunday. But it's, in a lot of countries it's Domenico. 
God's day. The first day of the week is God's day. The first day of the week is Sunday, not Monday. It's not like they say the end of the, the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. But the actual first day of the week is Sunday. Man's first duty is to obtain eternal salvation. So I have then the universal pure Christians. Anybody can join, but you must be moral. No, you can't say you want to do something and that's the way you live. Christ says you must be a moral person. You must have good character and, of course, believe in the divinity of God. Now, now my phone is ringing. <laughs> now, what I then have is Doxy PhD Company, where I delve into presenting universal phenomena and resolving it. And space is distance. Space is not time, and time is not distance. Time is an interval, do you see? Like, if I look at the, my present time, it's 10.50, okay? And if I sit here and philosophize, I haven't maybe even moved, said anything, say for, say I do that for five minutes, just to do it for five minutes, or I do it for five minutes. Well, what happened? I didn't do anything. There was no distance involved. It was an interval from when I looked at 1050, say to 1055. Do you understand? I say what it really is. Man goes by the center line, excuse me, the center line, center line, center line of the Earth's mass. There's the Earth's mass and the Earth's gravitational field. Do you understand? And on Earth, if I take and walk from here a mile for exercise, what did I do? I walked on the Earth's surface through space, through the atmosphere on the Earth's surface, one mile or a thousand kilometers. But if I stand still and watch a movie for one hour, uh, there's no distance involved. It was an interval of time based on I have two feet on the ground, which I always believe. Rational man should think rationally, not like Einstein said. Einstein said, in order to solve the, these universal complex phenomena, man must think irrational and use a mathematical schema. And eventually I improved and rewrote Einstein's book of Dr. Universe and Dr. Einstein. Rewrote the book. And then finally after a year of pushing, they allowed a secret conference. It says, who would agree with who? And you better believe that Einstein agreed with yours truly. On my futuristic advanced concepts in theoretical mathematical physics. And that is capital X prime equals capital X minus VT over the quantity of the square root of 1 minus V squared over capital C squared, where capital C is at least equal to or greater than C, the velocity of light. 
I said, I'm sure CERN, this is in 19, April 1955, I'm sure CERN has been able to have increments of velocities super luminous. And he said, well, you think like when? And I, it's 1955, I think by 1975, they'll go public of super, super luminous velocities faster than the speed of light. And I have digested all of his thinking, but I didn't. I always defended him as a friend until I found out he stole, not Blair stole, Olinto de Pretos E equals MV squared equals MC squared. Now, that's in Science and Inventions. I invented the Xerox, capital X, E, R, O, X. Absolutely, I have. I had one time, I think I had almost 200 videos going back for years. And they come, something keeps happening. They sell the company. They, uh, if I make a little mistake, you know, <laughs> working late, maybe push the wrong button. Oh, no, you can't get that back. And you fill out this form, fill out the form, they won't even answer. So they keep get, getting my videos, and I have to kind of like start over and repeat which I'm doing now and uh, the, the truth is I think there's where the government has them where they have to keep that data for 27 years I think before they can actually wipe the data so they've got the data stored somewhere certainly seven years or five five years or three years three five or seven years whatever they say And now, so I have Preacher Doc, University of Christians, Doc C, Ph.D. Company. But the most important is advanced concept theoretical mathematical physics. You better believe that I did the science of laser science, the future of a multi-purpose coherent beam. Absolutely. If that's number one in the world, then who am I? No. Then I have uh, expose editor. I said, well, they, you know, I, need, I have to write exposés. Why not expose editor? And I, I'm, now I'm putting on expose editor. And then... I said, well, it started as an inside joke. It wasn't my idea. I did so many things in so many fields secretly, and I would say um, 007 to the gals at the supermarket when I cashed my checks. And I had this video in the story, and I showed a proof of my license ID. It begins 007. And at that time, I was trying to do everything perfect. And in, and in mathematical physics, it's zero, zero, seven, not O. O, O is a letter. And you say O. Yeah. And if you're working with the uh, optical instruments, you say zero. You don't say O. You see. So... I, the girls would say, oh, oh, 007, I say, it's, uh, well, you know, it's zero, zero, 007. And they look at me, and the next time they say, what is it? And I say, zero, zero, 007. They say, oh, oh, 007. And I say, well, okay, you say, oh, oh, 007. But is there, so to start where we, uh, I, I, not that I'm flirting with them, I'm trying to make a little humor, a little side talk with them, make their day easier. They work real, it's quite a, it don't quite work to have to do there. So uh, I, I tell the story, and then they found out who I was and why I was saying, oh, we know you, you're 007. Do you understand? I have absolute proof of it. But it started as that inside joke, and it, and, and it had a half true fact, 007. 
That's my ID. Starts at 007. You see? No, they, but I, at that time, now I started to push about walking on the sidewalk and saying, hey, this is me. And he says, hey, if he walks on the sidewalk and he, he's willing to take a polygraph, a lot of ticket tests proves what he's saying. You understand? So they moved it to England. England works with them. And so then, then became Xerox in the U.S., ranked Xerox in England for the money with 007 in England. Well, then maybe there's a, you know, with a story and all that, but, but I'm telling you the true facts. Chronologically, what occurred, absolute true facts. Then I got disgusted with them. So now I have Preacher Doc, Universal Pure Christians. That's the one. That's the one I really care about now. My main interest and challenge is discipline of theology. Man's greatest challenge. How did we get here? You know, after the science and I, just to see what he would say, because it's supposed to be the authority on matter. Inert matter cannot create itself. I asked Einstein, how did this matter get here? And he thought a long time, and then he said, it's just here. Well, that's answering the question with that question, you see. And there's Doc C. Ph.D. Company. Absolutely! Let him kiss him away from any radiation is my original work. Absolutely. The first thing I did was to try to help sightless people with it. And then there's uh, 007. I said, I'll do better than that. I got two. I'm a real man. 009. So I, I have a program with videos about 009. For you beautiful girls, all girls are beautiful by nature, absolutely. And I try to be truthful and helpful, tell them to take, you know, guard themselves for safety and entertaining and what they can do to get good cultural programs and, and music, especially, you know, the best singers, crooners, you know. And then I, uh, was told all well, with your voice and so forth, your English, you couldn't be a presidential candidate. I thought about it. And, well, yeah, you know, where I grew up, we all talk this way. I, I don't think I have an accent. I don't think I have an accent. Nobody talks to we all talk this way. But when I take myself in science and listen, I say, wow, I've got a kind of a my being uh, that New York accent that I don't particularly like myself. So, but I, I, I speak the truth. So, I have a 009 and I would, would, said, well, I'll try poetry. It's the greatest challenge in the discipline of literature. And I have written some poems that there's three of them I wrote, and I can't find them. And I'm going to re find them, or I'll rewrite three. One of them, I think, is the greatest poem I ever read any place, any time. And it's based on sort of the thinking and poetic greatness of uh, Joyce Kilmore with trees that became so good to his music. So then I would say it, and then I would kind of hum it. And then I like Ezio Pinzo, with that good, solid voice, like in South Pacific. And I'd try, when I was younger, I tried to imitate Bing Crosby. Well, let's see if I can sing a And I'll be darned the first time I tried taping it. I had rehearsed the, the lyrics so I could read them. I went through it the first time and hit every note. That's the best I have ever done. 
And so now I have my mini studio where I can put a video on anytime, 24-7. And I said, I'll put on 009 and say, uh, you know, all you beautiful girls. Of course. Beautiful girl, walk a little slower when you walk by me. And there's that kind of poetic, that song. Uh, well, maybe I'll get the, the lyrics to it and read through it. Maybe there myself to sing it. Beautiful girl. Walk a little slower when you walk by me. I don't know, I'm maybe one or two of the notes. And then try to make all you girls out there in your day a little lighter, brighter, safer. Of course, absolutely. I uh, I believe that I might. Now I'm going to be very very blunt. I believe I might be a martyr saint. I have survived so many crimes and conditions. And still have the faith in selling preacher doc. And I had a vision. But I even forgot about it because I'd say it's fifty point zero fifty point zero zero and fifty point zero one percent a vision and then forty nine point nine nine percent. I was asleep. I was asleep. I am not sure. But I'm telling you, that vision was real. I was checking to see if I was awake. And I could not see through that vision. And when I was preacher doc, say, well... Did you ever have a vision? I'd say no. And then after a while I thought about it. I said, gee, you know, I can't say no. I don't know if I can say yes, but I can't say no. So I took and I said, well, I may have. So when you add what I've, what I believe, what I survived and that vision, I'm preacher doc, whether anybody likes it or not. From the gutter to Rome and from Rome down to the gutter in the U.S. This system here is rotted. It's corrupt. Corrupt from top to bottom. Illegal president. They don't want me to even be known. I can clean this country up and do, I say I can do it in one year. I can essentially restore it back to it being a real democracy, not the King George Queen Hoover, immoral, that pedophiliac Hoover, criminally insane, they're mad, they get in a circle and decide something, and they keep doing that between, they play with them themselves of what they're doing. They play with themselves, they're masturbating of this, and that's what they, they want to say. Is, well, this is reality. No, that's... Guttural. <sighs> corrupt. Sinful, if you look at it from a point of theology. King George, Queen Hoover. Hypocrisy. So, I hope I can put this video on, because it's getting there 35 minutes, and I say, 
beautiful girls walk a little slower when you walk by me. Thank you.